Yes. Okay. So, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Here is the person today. We are going to see Mr. Dario Rigorio. He is from Italy. He has done his degrees from in the economics and management from the University of Naples. And uh, he is the person who is expert in economics and he's economist and has been doing a lot of projects. One of his uh, best concept is long-term economy in which he has focused on sustainable development goals and is part of so many think tanks. And we came to know each other when we, we both became global goodwill ambassador at that GGA. So we are going to focus on the education field. And I'm going to ask how should the education uh, be in the area of economics so that human civilization achieves sustainable goals on Mother Earth and whenever we go to Moon, Mars, and beyond. So uh, Dario, please, uh, can you guide us on this uh, particular thing, how the economics education should be? Yes, uh, I, I like a lot this subject because uh, I work on this subject. My, my work, my mission is to educate, educate people all over the world about sustainability, long-term thinking, long-term thinking. So yeah. when you do things, you are not thinking about the interest now, but the interest in the long-term for the generations that are going to come, not Great. only for ourselves. This is long-term thinking. So I, I work a lot in the camp, uh, in the in the field of education. So uh, I make a lot of courses also about uh, uh, sustainable development goals that are goals, objectives developed by the United Nations. And these yeah. are very, very important to understand the concept of sustainability. Uh, I make courses on SDGs, on CSR, CSR that is important and is also mm, uh, being developed by countries in their legal frameworks. We have uh, laws in Europe, in the European Union about CSRD, yeah. Uh, and we have laws in India about CSR, but yeah, we, yeah. Have, we have laws also in other countries. So I make courses on uh, SDGs, on CSR, and uh, also on ESG, that is becoming an important field for banks, financial groups, and companies, because companies that want to get credit need to understand what ESG is because yes. banks and financial groups are giving more and more importance on the on the uh, on the field of sustainability also in their yes. analysis and this is yep. important so uh, uh, yeah, it's a very good combination hey, let's, sustainable let's come, development goal let's ESG go. and this oh please go ahead yeah. yeah yeah let's go let's go to the subject of this interview uh, how should be education about yes. uh, sustainable development goals? Let's talk about uh, education for the children, for uh, people that uh, are in the process of training in their early age or in the age of education students. So I think uh, one problem, one problem of today education is that it is uh, very, very fragmented, specialized, separated. Fields are separated yeah. one from the others. And this is the most important, the most important negative points of today education. Because one thing of sustainable development goals that is very important to understand, even before understanding the single, the unique single, uh, uh, objectives, the single goals, the 17 goals, it is important to understand that these goals are interrelated. They're all internally linked, yeah. In fact, we cannot fragment any goal from uh, any other goal. They are together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are connected. Yeah. 
uh, each goal affect other goals. Perfect. So if the education is not made in this sense, people, students don't understand that what <laughs> they do in one field can have consequences on an other field. Perfect. So this is the most important principle that should be changed in the education. When we educate children, especially children, they have to have in mind the concept that when they study one thing, when they study math, mathematics, for example, they yeah. have to understand that this study has, is interlinked with other subjects. They it are not separated yeah. subjects. They yeah. are not separate. They are interrelated. So p children they have to understand this concept, they have to have their, this concept in mind. This, this must become uh, uh, an automa uh, automatized, uh, automatized process. Yeah, yeah. They have to think in this way. Yes. Things are interrelated. Things are interrelated. If I do one thing, if I destroy this, think this, my, this this action will have consequences with other things. Perfect. Also, also, for example, just a, a simple things that we all the people do in their uh, daily life. Uh, when we we make waste, 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 garbage, okay? If we differentiate it, it is important because this has consequences. Yes. But if we put all the garbage all together, this has other consequences that are a lot more negative. But now we don't understand these consequences, but in the future we will have these consequences. So it is important that we understand that our actions, our studies, our uh, work is interrelated with other things. And this is the most important concept for me that is uh, uh, important for making education useful for sustainability. Great. Then we have all the, the other technical things. What is goal one? What is uh, SDG two? What is SDG three? SDG four, et cetera. Then we have the law about CSR, uh, then we have the laws about ESG. Okay, but then this will come later. The most important things for children education is uh, uh, interrelation. Yes. Uh, yesterday, uh, when I was interviewing uh, the uh, Dr. Peter, uh, he said that artificial intelligence has positive side as well as negative side. Similarly, when we know the economics of all these things, may it be computer science, may it be economics or whatever we are studying, once you understand the interlink of all these, and when we balance everything, uh, you mean to say that we can achieve the sustainable goals in a better way than what we are today. That is what you want to say? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, okay. everything, okay. Now, uh, you see, uh, many times, as you are economist, we understand that First World War, Second World War, and so many wars are going on. This, can this war economy be diverted to space age and a better vision economy way, so that we can achieve sustainable goals? And even we can go to moon, Mars, and beyond. Can this, the money spent on wars be diverted to such a better vision. What is your opinion, sir? Uh, maybe, this is a very, uh, a, a very uh, um, uh, challenging, challenging question. <laughs> because we have so many things on the table. Yeah. Uh, I, I think that um, achieving the space, uh, is a, a very important challenge for humans because that means that we are more resilient, okay? Uh, for now, we have to rely only on this planet. 
we have no other planets now. Yes, yes, agreed. <laughs> and this is the I, I, so first just thing a word, you are you are expert in maritime expert, uh, you know logistic and supply chain management. So the war affects everything, and that is why I'm asking this question. What can can the economy of war be diverted to sustainable goals and uh, going to moon, Mars, and beyond? Please, please go ahead. Uh, yeah, so uh, we have only this planet. Yes. So we, for the moment, for the moment, we have to be sustainable here. Yeah. And uh, we can let all the economic wars, uh, but also uh, civil wars and other kinds of wars yes. uh, to uh, destroy this planet. Uh, but uh, we can do this only by education, with education. Education is uh, very, very important because it can't change the world now, but it can change the world 20 years later from now. Yes, yes. 30 years later from now. And it is important that we start now. So yes. that in 20 years, we have people that think with sustainability logic in mind. Yeah. And this is important. So first, we have to think about what we can do now to make our life better, the quality of our life better, to, to uh, uh, preserve, preserve uh, a planet Earth resources so that the human species does not become too invasive yes, to the world. Yes, this yes, is yes. important. Because we have to understand that to make the world sustainable, uh, humans should not be malignant. Yeah, yeah, it should, should, should not be invasive. Because uh, it is the same from nature, you know. Uh, if yeah. you have a field, a field of grain, okay, but if there is an invasion of a, a certain kind of a, a parasit, parasite, yes, 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 parasite, yes. or other thing, the the, the field. Uh, become waste. Yes. Because it is has been invaded by one species that is has been in, invasive. So yes. this is the same for now, for, for us, toward our planet. If we become too invasive to our planet, the planet can become waste. True. And it is also not good for us. It's not good for anyone. <laughs> it, it, it is it is useful now, but when the process is ended and yeah. it has become waste, it is not useful for us. Yes. And we should change our planet, but it could be too early for us. We don't have the technology to to move from the earth to another planet. Yeah, right now we don't have. I agree. So we have to be sustainable now. Yes. And on our future, planet only, Mother Earth. We, we have to develop the technology yeah, yeah. to go yes. beyond Earth and to go to Moon, to Mars, and other planets uh, in, in other in, in other uh, parts of the universe. Yeah. And it is important to develop this technology because, uh, first of all, this planet uh, could become uh, subject of problems for uh, physical things. So we have to understand how to protect it and how to move from it Perfect. and how to use other things in the space to, 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 to make the, uh, our uh, society uh, uh, thrive in other places in the universe. But we are now talking about uh, things that are uh, very farther from now. For the moment, it is important to understand that we have to make this planet uh, a better place to live on. Yeah. Survive and sustain and live well. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So uh, now you talked about children should be taught about all these things. And so that they are, uh, uh, you know, the their life should be full of ethics and values so that, so that they sustain slowly on this planet. At the same time, how should be the education, the higher education should be? 
because your long long term economy uh, blog was there and you develop lot of courses for the senior people so how should be the senior level education higher level education should be what is your opinion on on that so that we survive sustain go to moon mars and beyond yeah uh, high level education uh, high level students they have uh, already their uh, mind uh, their uh, um frame so we can't uh, we can't work a lot on uh, uh, their way of thinking yes uh, but we can do a lot to to make them understand that these subjects are important and um, it is important also the fact that now uh, ESG are becoming very important because uh, 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 if people understand, if people of high level uh, education understand that uh, uh, sustainability is important for companies to take credit, for companies yes. to, uh, to, to thrive, uh, yes. uh, they understand that it is an important matter. Uh, but also we we can work we can work on that level of education we can we can make them understand that everything is interrelated but yes. we have little space yes uh, uh, rather than with children with the children the mind is not uh, already formed so yes we have a lot of space to make them understand and act in that yes. way in a long term way in a, an uh, an integrated way yeah. uh, so um it is important that these subjects sustainability sdgs csr um esg become part of the high level education yes uh you see for younger children we can develop but, but, their attitude but for uh, the seniors they have to understand the how the all the subjects and all the companies and all human beings and a whole biogeochemical cycle is interrelated and they have yeah. to behave accordingly so that we we'll literally achieve the sustainable development goals that is what you yeah. want to say yeah 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 yeah, yeah. And, and also it is important for high level education that uh, they um, are put in front of projects they have to develop the project to develop project about this field so about sustainability about it, because if they develop project they understand uh, with their hands what they are talking about it is not only theory it is it is important to understand with their hands yes what is sustainability they should understand what what are the consequences of uh, a, a certain way of treat waste, of treating yes. waste, of treating waste with technology? Yes. Or, or, or reducing waste in a certain way. And uh, it is important in this way also the, the concept of circular economy. You know, circular economy yeah. is a kind of economy, circular where, economy. Yeah. where resources from art are very low. So we take low resources from art, we manage those resources, and those resources are in the circle. They don't become waste. Yes. So everything remains in the circle. So in what we cycle. take from art and what we put on art is very, very low. This is circular economy. And this yes. concept is very important to understand for children but also for high education students yeah it, simply we are putting theory into practice that's all yeah 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 hmm. so, theory into practice and yes. uh, and uh, uh, make it with circular economy it is important yeah. for high level education yes so uh, anything else you want to add uh last five minutes you just uh, want to say anything about how the education should be for achieving all those things uh, uh, i think that uh, for achieving all those things uh, first of all uh, teachers 
teachers yeah. are an important role. So teachers have to be trained in this, uh, in this challenge, to, to, to address this challenge, to address ch this challenge uh, in, in a way that is most useful for children and for uh, high level students. Uh, yeah. So in this way, uh, governments, uh, uh, public institutions uh, must put all their efforts in training teachers in a way that they can they can train children and high level students in uh, in the best way. Uh, so may, may, may I ask? May I add something? Uh, not only children, but seniors also at the leadership position should adopt and change for the good so that these sustainable goals should be achieved. That is what you want to say? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, 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 so first of all, we have to educate teachers. Yeah, we don't that's educate right, teachers, yes. yeah. We can't educate children. We can make, we can, okay, we can, the, 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 the government can give program to, to teachers to be respected. But yes. if the teacher is not educated you got the point. Yeah. In, in that matter, yeah. Okay, it is a robot that make a program, but <laughs> can't, can't, can't uh, give the, the right training to the children. Yeah. Yes. First, yes. the teacher has to understand what sustainability means, what yes. long-term thinking means, what circular economy means, yes. what ESG means. Uh, I give you an example. Uh, my nephew, my nephew uh, studied uh, in um, in high school in Italy, and uh, I. Hey, what I, happened to your hand? Got what? some injury? You got some injury in your hand? Yeah, 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 yeah. My 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 one of my <laughs> my finger. Okay. My finger. <laughs> okay. Please continue about your nephew. Yeah, he's studying in uh, Italy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so. Uh, some program uh, of the school were uh, uh, had a subject sustainability, SDGs, you know. But I think that teachers didn't uh, uh, understand what SDGs effectively, how they work, okay. what they mean. Oh my they God. only give students, uh -oh, we have to study SDG 1. What is SDG 1? But they don't understand, didn't understand what SDG mean. So it is important that teachers, first of all, before they give this homework to students, they understand what- I agree with that. Yes, yes. Sustainability. In fact, if the teachers are trained for SDG, then this knowledge will percolate to all 8 billion people right from their younger age only. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So slowly then we can inculcate the values, the value system, then, uh, you know, the behavioral pattern will change because 2030 is not far away. Only six years are left and, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and pandemic was there. So if we can uh, come, you know, uh, we start running today, for example, for doing this, it might take some 15 to 20 years more. That is what you are saying. But we can we can achieve something. It's not important when uh, when when is the deadline. It is important to start and start it in a good way. Yes. With with yes, uh, yes. Uh, in a constant way and with yeah. determination. Consistency. Yeah, yeah. With determination yeah. and consistency. Yeah, See, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because. Yeah. Uh, well begun is half the work done. That is the power we might be knowing. Everybody knows that. If we start yeah, well, yeah. then definitely end will be definitely well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Certainly, someday, sometime, we shall be achieving those things. If we yeah, start yeah, it better. Yeah, I agree. So, anything else you would like to add? Uh, I, I think we have touched almost the, the topics, the issues of these subjects. Okay, so thank you very much. Education, education. Yeah. of course, sustainability is, uh, uh, is a lot larger than what we have talked about today, but these are the main points related yes. to education. Okay, so uh, finally, 
Uh, let me thank Dario Ruggiero. He's from Italy, studied in Naples, and he's the economist, and he has given us, you know, a canvas. We had a big canvas he has given how the sustainable development goals can be achieved, ESG, and how it can be clubbed with the CSR as well. And uh, he has touched the points wherein the education for children in the economy should be achieved and how the education should be there for the seniors so that we start well on achieving sustainable development goals. It doesn't matter, he said, that when we achieve it, but if we start early and better, we are definitely going to achieve it someday, sometime. But these fundamental things in the economies should be inculcated in the behavioral and habits of all the children and every human being. That is what he means to say. So that we achieve the circular economy very well and we sustain on this planet and survive in, on this planet before we have the technology to go to moon, Mars and beyond. Am I right? Yeah yeah yeah, 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 you, you, you have summarized perfectly yeah. what we okay. have talked about. Okay, thank you very much and goodbye. Thank you too. Thank you too. I thank you all for their attention. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.